Dum 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 da dum dum da dum dum dum. Hello, I'm Eric Zan with Hot Trash Games, and today we'll be going over saving in JSON serialization in Flax Engine. Currently, we have our. Currently, we have our our setup with our game plugin to save all of these which does save but it does not save over different if you completely shut out of the system it does not save it so as you can see here so we are going to deal with that today and we are going to do it in our our plugin our game plugin which allows us to do our data persistence in between scenes and in between short plays but now we need to serialize and for that we need to be using flex engine dot json and system dot io we will also need a string variable which we will name path and that'll equal capital globe rules. dot project content folder plus whatever you want to call it which in this case is going to be save and then dot json And now under your initialization and deinitialization, we want to create two new public void functions. We got save and load. So we want to do first an if statement to see if the file dot exists at path and this is kind of redundant from what I understand but might as well do it just for the fun of it. because it actually saves over anything that's here, but it works nonetheless. Uh, create text, capital letters, path, dot dispose function. So it'll get rid of the original file if it exists. And then we want our string data to equal JSON serializer dot serialize this. So it'll be serializing this file in all of its variables. So in particular the presses will be serialized. Then we want to File dot write all text async. I don't know the difference to be completely honest. 
uh, between async and not, but that is just where I was looking. And now in load, also would like to do something a little different here. Let's do a public. This is for if you want to save and save a new game or start start a new game if you try to load and it's not there. Let's call this no save public bool. And then right under the right here, we want to do no save equals boss. And then in the load, if exclamation point file exists in the path so if the file does not exist on the path then no save equals true else if file does exist String loaded data equals file dot read all text at path. Then you want to JSON serializer deserialize. This is loaded data. And that's it. Other than calling these functions, that's done. Now, as for calling it, plugin, close game plug. Game plug equals plugin manager. Get plugin, my plugin, yes. That is correct. Okay. Game plug dot load. Update here for the fun of it. If input the key keyboard keys dot L let's just go with S S then we want to game plugin dot save so I can get rid of load from here. Else if L S L C 
see we reloaded these. I can probably show a better example of that. Okay. And now L over here. All right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So here you go. All these. All these double ones shows you that it restarted back here. And also we L. Wait. Let me start the game. L, L, and then there we have it. Saved. Also, if you want to find this file. It is right here. Content save. And here we go. Save press 16 because that's when we saved it. And yeah, that'll load up every time. Pretty easy. Uh, of course, the problem with it is, as with any just plain JSON serialization, it is pretty easily edited. Um, and with it being in the content file, pretty easy to find. So you just open it up and there it is and then you can edit it. Uh, eventually I'll go over encrypting this uh, and stuff like that. But the main thing is if really if people want to cheat in your game, they will find a way. So it's really up to you how much effort you want to put in it because at, at a certain point there's so much effort required to cheat that most people won't decide to. Or you can just decide to let them do with what, what they want with your game. That is up to you. But uh, this has been Eric Zan with Hot Trash Games. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this is helpful. Um, if it was, please go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to join us on our journey learning uh, the Flags Engine and game development in general, uh, you can stop over on uh, twitch.tv slash hot trash games uh, almost every day.